Krishna. We start our parikram around Kanchipuram from this beautiful Shiva temple. It's uh, considered to be the biggest temple in Kanchipuram and uh, Shiva Lingam here represents one of the five elements of the uh, nature. So here Shiva represents uh, the element earth. And uh, the temple is really big, it's uh, 70 acres big and these Gopurams reach 60 meters high. We will walk around, we will see lots of Shivalingams and the main temple or the main altar and many altars around and the magic holy mango tree. Gopis used to pray to Lord Shiva to get Krishna as their husband. And in this world, young girls, they also pray to Lord Shiva uh, to get a nice husband. And for us, the best husband or wife is the one who is the Vaishnava, the devotee of Lord Vishnu. And uh, Lord Shiva is very merciful. He's, he's uh, Ashutosha, he's easy to, it's easy to get uh, benedictions from him. So I'm, even though I have a wonderful husband in this life because I pray to Lord Shiva in other Thomas in Jagannath Puri, uh, I will still pray that in the lives that I will have in the female body or male body, I will still have a, a Vaishnava spouse. Hare Krishna. Kajpangi Vishnu Padavayanam Devi Vishnanam Vika Nathayanam Sri Kantayanam Shiva Priyayanam Uprayanam Dabatyayanam Kamaliyayanam Hare Krishna, here is the second temple we are visiting today out of five uh, as a plan, uh, but this temple is uh, Sri Kamakshi uh, temple. Kamakshi is the Parvati manifestation. Kamakshi means calm and desire, Aksha eyes. So the one who is full of desire, who is very passionate, and many people worship uh, uh, Parvati Devi or Kamakshi to fulfill their material desires. But we Vaishnavas, we pray to uh, Kamakshi when we visit this temple uh, to to make us free from the bondage of illusion because Parvati is the manifestation of Maya and uh, actually uh, Parvati is the great uh, devotee of Lord Vishnu and she serves him in the way by, by checking the devotees by sending him them the tests uh, for the sincerity and determination so if she says that the devotee is uh, sincere in his desire to achieve Lord Vishnu's lotus feet or Krishna's lotus feet, then she gives her merciful blessings. So with these prayers, we came to this temple and got a beautiful darshan. Radhishyam. Unfortunately, inside we also couldn't film, but uh, there is a big deity of Vamanadev who is making his steps, a huge uh, deity and small Utsamuti. And uh, uh, the story is that Vamanadev was making two steps uh, when covering the earth. And uh, th there was lacking space to make his third step. So Bali Maharaja made the last step on his head upon his request, giving his mercy. And Bali Maharaj represents Atmanivedana, which means the full surrender. And we also hope that someday we will be able to surrender everything to Krishna, give up all material attachments, all material desires. And a uh, few words about Tilak. Uh, every Sampradaya has different Tilaks. And in Gaudiya, Vaishnava Gaudiya Sampradaya, this Tilak we put, uh, which represents also a kind of step of Lord Vishnu, 
footprint and Tulasi leaf. Uh, but also there is another interpretation that these two lines represent Radha and Krishna and the one who makes this tilak, like he uh, kind of makes the path uh, free from obstacles uh, for Radha and Krishna meet in Vrindavan. So this Tulasi uh, represents like Vrinda Devi and Vrindavan and Radha and Krishna meet in Vrindavan. So one of interpretations of our tilak, if you didn't know that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 